Okay, so this video is going to show you how to burn any Dreamcast game straight to a CDR with a CDI image file. So this is a pretty easy tutorial and we're going to start things off by downloading all the files that we need, which I've included in a link in the video description. So we're going to right click and extract right to our desktop. Once that's complete, we're going to be setting up image burn to burn Dreamcast games. Now I've included the patch files in the image burn directory. So we're going to open that up and we're going to extract all the patch files right to the directory here. And then we're going to install image burn. So we're going to open up the installer, click next a few times. And now we want to copy where it's installing to. So we're going to copy this address by right clicking and pressing copy. And now we're going to continue with the installation. So I click no, I just close the browser and we're all done. So now we want to copy over our, our patch files to where image burn was installed to. So we're going to move over this browser, open up file explorer again, and we're going to right click and edit address. We're going to paste over what we copied by right clicking and pressing paste. And this is where image burn has installed to. Now we want to select all these files and just drag and drop. And now image burn knows how to burn Dreamcast games. So we're going to close all these up. Now the next step is optional and it's just a test if our Dreamcast games will boot. It's a Dreamcast emulator called Mill DC. Now you don't need to do this step, but it's handy just to see if your games will boot. It won't catch every corrupt game, but it's handy just anyways. So for it to work, you need to have the BIOS files for a Dreamcast. I can include that in the newbie pack. So just open up a web browser and Google DC BIOS, which is Dreamcast BIOS. And you should be able to see, as you can see here, these two files. Now, I'm gonna copy those right over to the data folder inside of the null DC. See here, I'm having a trouble selecting them, but you just need to copy over the two files here. One's for the memory card, and one is for the Dreamcast. So now once these are copied over, the Dreamcast emulator is fully set up. So we're gonna open this up here, and you can see it boots just fine. So we're gonna go to normal boot, and it's gonna ask us for a CDI image file. So I'm gonna open up my folder of Dreamcast games. Now for this to work, you need to have a CDI image. So generally there's two types of Dreamcast games. One is a GDI image, which is a straight Dreamcast dump, which is this format right here which is won't work to boot on your Dreamcast. So we're gonna go back over and I have CDI images. So here's the same game, but in CDI image format. So right click and you can see file extensions.cdi, which means it's a self booting Dreamcast game. So we're gonna navigate to the desktop where I have my Dreamcast games. For you, that's probably gonna be different. And we're gonna open up So it's gonna take a couple seconds to load up in the emulator depending on your computer. But once it does, it should Oh, this is the first time we set it up. So just set the time. Now I think you're gonna to have to press V or B And there we go. So the game is obviously booting. So that's one good sign. Now again, not every game will work. So I've burned a few CDI images that don't work on my Dreamcast at home. So, and I've had to repack the image, which I'll show you in another video. But so far it's looking like it's gonna work. So I'm gonna close this up here 
and we're going to open up image burn now you're going to want to place a blank cdr into your disk drive and you want to go over to write image file to disk so once it recognizes your blank cd it should pop up in the right hand screen so once it pops up, you're going to want to unclick verify if you're using a laptop because it'll just not re-pop back in, I guess, when it's finished burning and then it'll just show an error. So you don't really need to change any of the settings or anything like that. I mean, you could change the write speed, but... Again, the only thing I'm going to do is unclick verify. So you're going to want to open up your Dreamcast game, select the game, and just drag and drop. So you can see it's already selected all the settings. I'm going to unclick verify. And we're going to burn. So depending on the speed that you're burning at, it should only take about 5 to 10 minutes. And once it's done, it should pop up and give you the file directory of everything here. So you can take a look if you want, but it's pretty useless. So we're going to close up everything that we see. So once we close up everything, we could jump to our Dreamcast. Now it's a pretty easy process to burn games, but again, these have been repackaged by somebody else on the internet, so not everyone has worked. So we're gonna try it by just popping it into our Dreamcast. You can see mine's already turned on, but yours doesn't need to be. And we're gonna boot it up. So you can see this is my Dreamcast. I don't have the disc in yet, I just put it in. So I'm going to check to see if it's a Dreamcast game. This should only take a few seconds. And so far so good. We're going to select play and we're going to see if it boots. Now we got the Dreamcast boot screen. Now it should jump over to the game. And there we go. Now if it doesn't work, sometimes it'll hang on this screen or it'll boot back to the Dreamcast. But here we can see it is working. So again, I've tried a few different games and most of them work as long as they're in CDI image and it, they'll boot just fine. But other Dreamcast games I found haven't worked and I'm getting a video guide series on how to create your own CDI image files from Dreamcast game dumps. So if this video has helped you out, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos on how to create your own Dreamcast CDI image files.